UNSC exam guidelines outline the requirements for each of the two physical science exam papers where the first paper is physics and it is made up of 150 marks of which 20 marks are allocated to the 10 multiple choice questions in question one. The first major section is then mechanics which makes up 63 of the 150 marks where question two covers Newton's laws and applications of Newton's laws and then the excerpts from the exam guideline document are as follows where they outline exactly what is required under each heading. Question three is on vertical projectile motion in one dimension. Question four is on momentum and impulse. Question five is on work, energy and power. The second major section is that of wave, sound and light and that makes up 17 of the 150 marks which is question 6 on the Doppler effect. The third major section, electricity and magnetism which makes up 55 of the 150 marks that is question 7 on electrostatics. Question 8 on electric circuits. Question 9 on electrodynamics. And the final section, matter and materials, for 15 out of the 150 marks, which is question 10, optical phenomena and properties of materials. The second paper is a 150 mark chemistry paper, which once again has a 20 mark multiple choice in question one, which is then followed by the next major section of matter and materials for 48 marks, which is questions two, three, and four on organic molecules. next section is chemical change for 84 out of the 150 marks with question 5 on rate and extent of a reaction. Question 6 on chemical equilibrium. Question 7 on acids and bases. Question 8 on electrochemistry, that is question 8 and 9. It is important to note that there are four sections here that were part of the NSC syllabus that are not explicitly examined. Those are representing chemical change, energy and change, quantitative aspect of chemical change, intermolecular forces. These are all expected to be understood, although not explicitly examined. The final section is chemical systems for 18 out of the 150 marks. And that is question 10 on chemical industry, which is the fertilizer industry. It's important to use the exam guideline documents, either the document itself or take screenshots from this video to ensure that you have covered every concept and skill that is required before your NSC exams.